Hi everyone! Today I will be demonstrating how to paint a chickadee in pastel. This will be an 8x8 eight eight painting that I've mounted a UART sanded paper to a acid-free foam core base. By mounting my paper to the foam core, I'll be able to frame this piece without having to use a mat. I'm starting out by using some small pieces of new pastel sticks because they're small and will fit into these areas more easily than a large pastel stick. I am pressing the pigment into the paper very firmly just using my finger I find that uh, my fingers work the best for pushing the pigment into the paper. I only use a blending stump in areas that are smaller than my finger. For this demonstration, I'm using a time-lapse feature that I have slowed down so that you can follow along with each step of the process. I have also included the reference photo in a link in the description area that you may use uh, to draw and follow along. Also, this image was a free reference photo from Paint My Photo, and the photographer was Jan Russ. I will also include in the description area the uh, materials I'm using, the paper, and pastel sticks. I usually start a pastel painting by drawing some of the uh, darker outlines and filling in areas that have the darkest values or colors uh, first and I push the color into the grain of the paper and rub it with my finger to get it into the grain and this creates a base layer that I will apply other colors of pastel onto. Here I will use a light shade of gray to create a base layer uh, in the chickadee space. The reason I'm using gray is so that when I begin layering the lighter colors and white they will show up uh, over the gray base. I will continue adding the darkest values first. I always work from dark to light in, in all of my pastel paintings. So here I'm ready to apply some of the that rusty brown color to the feather areas as my base and rub it into the paper. I will continue defining some of the outlines of the feathers and add more color uh, to finish my base. As I work, I'm using some glassing paper to rest my hand on. I use the sheets that come with the pads of UART sanded paper. Also, you may not want to rest your hand on the UART paper because the oils uh, from your skin will transfer to the paper and you may find that uh, when you place some pastel color over those areas it may leave a, uh, a stained mark in your paper that could be difficult to remove. Also when not using a sheet of glassing paper I have a clear acrylic armrest that I also use to support my hand while drawing. Before finishing the rest of the chickadee's body, 
I'm going to apply some feather texture to the bird's head and face to bring out some of the highlights uh, reflecting from the feathers. I have a dark enough base here so that as I apply the white pastel, it stands out rather nicely. I don't want to add too much detail at this time, but just enough to start defining the light and dark areas of the painting. Once I have completed um, the first couple layers of color to the bird, then I will add the background to the bird before adding the final detailed feathers that blend into the background. I'm going to start outlining the dark areas in the bird's wing. I don't want to add too many outlines to the bird's feather until I've added enough uh, color and shape to the wings. Otherwise, as I blend the color over the wing, it, it will only smudge and cover up the dark outlines. So here I will add some of the dark color beneath the bird's wing and begin shaping and defining some of the, the shadows in the wing. Once I have drawn in the shape of the wing using the black pastel, then I'll be able to apply uh, some darker gray to begin adding a base to these feathers. I will use my blending stump to push the gray color into the paper. The uh, blending stick I'm using has a, a rubber tip that works very nicely for this process. I will also use some lighter shades of gray and brown to complete the bird's wing. I will zoom in a little bit closer here as I complete um, all the details in the chickadee's wing.
Now that the chickadee's wing is mostly done, I will start developing the feathers in the bird's uh, breast area. I will start with a uh, slate blue to the darkest areas of the feathers and gradually uh, blend uh, this area with some uh, darker gray. I will use a piece of foam, a sponge that I have to blend this area uh, very smoothly. After blending this area, I can easily erase some of the excess color that got onto my paper. So I want to blend some of this dark blue on the edges with some gray in the uh, breast area of the bird. And then I will use my sponge applicator again to blend it into the paper and create a very soft uh, uniform look. I will blend some more gray around the yellow flowers and then switch to a lighter shade of gray to go beneath the chickadee's wing. I need to identify the area where the kind of rusty down feathers will be on the breast of the bird. And then I'll add the light gray inside that area. Now I can finish those reddish brown uh, feathers under his wing. I will follow my reference photo to draw these feathers in the same direction as the photo. And then I will add some lighter shades of orange and tan to uh, shape the feathers and give it highlights. And then blend it all together to give it a very soft, downy appearance. I'm going to start adding some texture to the bird's feather by using my pastel pencils. I'm starting with a, a darker shade of gray that will blend very nicely over the lighter shade and create texture. When drawing these small feathers, I'm actually creating small triangles uh, to create the illusion of feathers. Next I will choose a navy blue to define some of the darker shadows in the uh, blue area of the bird's chest. I'm going to switch to the lighter shades of gray and white to start adding the final details and highlights to the bird's feathers. You will begin to see the fullness of his feathers 
as I add these highlights to them.
So now I'll start adding a background to this painting. I've chosen a very light green, kind of a mint green, to create my first uh, base layer that I will blend together. I'm using a sponge applicator to blend this first layer because uh, the UART sanded paper is is rather rough on you, on the fingers when you first start applying it. But once I've achieved um, a couple of layers on the paper, I will be able to blend easily uh, with my fingers. I would like to try some darker colors to the background, so I don't plan to follow the photograph uh, in the reference. I'm going to continue adding more of this color around the flowers. Once I have this base layer blended on the background, I can begin developing the flowers.
now that I have the shapes of the flowers drawn in, I need to start drawing the chickadee's feet clinging uh, to the plant. I will use shades of gray and blue to define uh, his feet and then use white for some of the highlights. Now that all my shapes are done, I'm going to finish working on the background. I'd like to add some richer colors to, to complete it. Now that the background is finished, the painting's almost done. So now I'll just add the final details uh, to the chickadee and additional highlights to complete this painting. I hope you have enjoyed this pastel demonstration and please subscribe to receive future uh, notifications of 
lessons and tutorials in pastel. Thank you.